So before we create our pipe network, we're going to start from creating a pass list. A pass list basically is a collection of paths that you will use in in your pipe network. For example, it can be a collection of standard sizes of of pipe of the pipes you're going to use. For example, you'll have a you may have a collection of 200 millimeter PVC pipes, 300 millimeter PVC pipes, and 400 millimeter PVC pipes. Also, for a pass list of structures, you can have a 1.8 diameter manhole, a 2.4 diameter manhole, a 1.2 diameter manhole. All right. So there are already preset pipe styles or pass list. For example, let's just go to pipe here. At the settings tab of the tool space, if I go to pipes, <coughs> so the pass list, let's see in prospector, no, the in settings tab, they're under pipe network. As you can see here, pass list. There are already preset pipes pass list that come with uh, the civil 3D metric template. For example, here we have three default or existing pass lists that came with the civil 3D metric template. I can click on sanitary sewer to see how it looks like. So I click, I right click and, and click on edit. At the information tab, we only have its name created by, last modified by, and these were the dates. And here at the pipes tab, we now have the various pipes that are in this pass list. Let's expand what is here. As you can see, this pipes pass list has PVC pipes only, and they come in all these sizes. It has all these sizes, 75 millimeters, 90 millimeter pipes, 100, 110, 150, all the way to 900 millimeters. And also here at the pass list, you can assign the style. And you can assign per, per pipe size, or you can even assign globally. Here on this sign, if I had to change, for example, right now it's double line storm. Let me change to single line sanitary and click OK. As you can see, changes globally, changes everything here. Also, the pipe rule sets, you can assign them from here. Okay, if you have a pipe rule set that you've created, you can come and assign it here for your pipes. And then render material, this is for rendering, and then pay item if you're using pay items. Here at the structure um, tab, we also have the same thing happening. We have different uh, paths. For example, we have the concentric cylind cylindrical structures, and they come in these two sizes, the 1.5 meter diameter or 1500 millimeter diameter or 2.3 meter diameter so these are the two sizes that are with in this pass family and the eccentric cylindrical structure we we have two also and the null structure we only have one and remember you can also change your styles here globally okay so this changes for this parts family this changes for this parts family or you can even change one individual style. So we will create our own pass list. For example, we know in our country, we the minimum pipe size for a sanitary sewer is 200 millimeters. We cannot go anything less than this. So we do not need all these pass paths. So we'll create our own paths list that we know has the re relevant materials that we'll use for sewerage design or pipe network design. How do we create our own pass list? We just come to pass list here. We create pass list. Here yeah, at the information, information tab, we call it and now we start creating our own Pass list. Here, how do we do that? We add a part family. And I want to use PVC pipes. 
So there are different kinds of pipes and different shapes. You can choose egg-shaped pipes if they're relevant to you. Elliptical pipes, concrete, elliptical, concrete, horizontal, rectangular pipes, okay, like box culverts. But for now, I want to use circular pipes. And my pipe of interest, the material I want to use is the PVC. You know, in our country, we either use PVC or concrete pipes or double corrugated pipes. We rarely use HDPE for sewer red sewers or storm sewers. These are used for water supply. But let us use the PVC pipe for now. Look, the, look at the preview area. Shows you the image of how that pipe looks like. And once you're satisfied, you just click OK. You can expand here to see the family that has just been added. This family needs the pipe sizes. So once you add that family, you need to next add the part sizes. You click on that, right click, and add part size. So here, you can add all sizes. You'll have all these sizes. Add, add up to your populated here under the PVC. But no, we do not want that. We want individual individual sizes. For example, I want to start with a 200 millimeter pipe. And here at the material, as you can see, it's, it's written reinforced concrete. So I want to change that. Let me go to PVC. I will add that pipe size. You can see I have my 200 millimeter PVC. We will add another one. Let's add a 300 pipe. Or let's add a 250 first. Change the material to PVC. And add it. And then add the final one. Let's do a 300. All right. Next, we are done with the part sizes, the pipes that we'll be using. These are the pipes we'll use in our design. And we can assign them a different style. Here they are assigned the double line storm. This is our sewerage. So let's use the double line sanitary. It's a sanitary sewer. For the rules, we'll add the rules later. The other things, we leave them at the default. We go to structures. Again, in structures, here we, we seem to have a null structure. This is a structure that you can add onto your, onto your network when you are not sure about the type of structure you would use and then later change it to a different style. But we want to add our own family that we are sure we will use. We are not dealing with inlets because it's not a storm sewer. You can see these are inlets. This is how they look like. A rectangular inlet where water just flows into the inlet. Concrete flared, concrete rectangular. Okay. But here we want junction structures. This is uh, what we want. We want a manhole. So there are different types. It's a concentric, concentric cylindrical structure. That's how it looks like. Concentric cylindrical structure also. SI without the sharp edges or rectangular frame. Also cylindrical, these are quite common in our country. Also this, okay, centric, rectangular, rarely used. So let's use this one, the circular one. And under that, let's add the part sizes. This is the parameter we mainly want to change. So there's a 1200 millimeter um, diameter manhole or structure. Let's start with this 1500 millimeter structure. Remember, in, um, in uh, the sewerage manuals, you will see the corresponding 
manhole sizes according to the pipe sizes. Usually they are stipulated according to the pipe sizes being connected to the manhole. That will dictate the size. Material is reinforced concrete. Are we okay? Let's add another size. Let's change this to 1800. Everything else is okay. And then we add the final one. Let's add the 2300. Okay, and then here we change this globally. It's not a storm sewer manhole, it's a sanitary sewer manhole. We click on OK. And here we can see the summary. And once we are through, we can click apply and click on OK. And we've created our pass list. If you go to the settings tab of the tool space, here under the pass list, we'll see our pass list populated.